Well, we made it. We're there, officially. I have stacked these videos so that there is a video coming out every other day, with the exception of on weekends. Uh, a video comes out every other day on this channel up until Shadow of the Erd Tree comes out. And if you're watching this video, it means that it's uh, June 21st. 621. And I got a job for you. Play the Elden Ring DLC a little later tonight. Those last few hours of waiting, that's going to be the that's going to be the worst of it, right? So here's a video that's like 20 minutes long. Almost 21 minutes long. That's 21 minutes of your day that you that's just, you know, just watch this video. And 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 that's 21 minutes gone. If you watch it twice, that's 42 minutes gone. How about that? Where can you get a better deal? This is my uh, this is my Bloodborne guy build. Straight sword, colossal hammer, great hammer, or straight sword, colossal sword. Point being, we have options, and I love them. I love all of those options. I love straight sword. I love hammer. I love great hammer. Colossal hammer, colossal sword. There's no wrong answer. Love them all. Each one sort of has like a different thing that it does. Uh, I I have really come to love nailing those uh, fully charged attacks. It's a shame that the brick hammer, what you just saw right there, the the giant crusher can do that little reverse back step into a roll catch, but the brick hammer for some reason just does not have the oomph to get that turnaround in time, which is a shame. Anywho, you saw me slap on the uh, the poise talisman, the bull goat talisman, and that's because I'm going to need it to get through the double daggers. If I'm going to go for a charged heavy follow-up here, because it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. No one ever does this attack, because why would they? But I'll do it, and why would I? Because it looks great, and it does a lot of damage. Also, it has some pretty good hyper armor, but hyper armor doesn't really matter when you're fighting somebody who's power stancing weapons, uh, because they're going to hit you so many times. E even twice is enough a lot of the time to, to break you out of your hyper armor, unless you're like real, real bricked up with poise. And we're not real bricked up with poise. We're just real bricked up with a brick hammer. We're wearing like Nox monk armor and a confessor's hood and patches pants. You know, like we don't have a ton of hyper armor. Or, I'm sorry, a ton of poise on this build. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't have hyper armor, right? And we do. We just don't have enough to be getting through, you know, power stance daggers power stance to anything, really. Um, I, not anything I would be willing to risk. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless it was, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one versus the daggers, like that last invasion. But I'm not going to be trying to hit that uh, when there's a guy with a colossal sword doing Lion's Claw, you know, and his buddy has two katanas. Like, there's just no... In my mind, there's just no poison through any of that. Um, but I probably wouldn't be trying to poise through this, even if I was playing with 100 poise, right? Just seems like a bad idea to try and make a trade. What trade am I going to win with that, you know? Because um, I don't. I said you know as just like a manner of speaking, you know? I did it again, sorry. Now that I've drawn attention to myself doing it. But when I said you know, it was just sort of like, one of those, you know, it's a, it's a, just words that you throw on to the end of a sentence because that's just the way you talk. Um, but in this instance, the you know actually made sense because you you know, right? Okay. Now that we all feel like we've had a stroke, um, listening to me, including myself, I also feel like I've had a stroke. 
We're gonna drag this guy out here on this bridge because this is my favorite thing in the world to do, is fight people on bridges. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe some sort of like latent troll DNA that I've got. I don't. I I can't believe. I cannot believe that I hit that after that entire diatribe about how I would never go for it in a million years, and then I go for it in a million years. That's absurd. But uh, I, you know, I don't even know what my next move is. Right? How can my opponent know what my next move is going to be if I don't know what it's going to be? Waves of darkness into the baseball swing. Get out of here, kid. See you at the bottom. And that's why I love bridge fights. You know? You know? Stop it! Get out of my head, Charles! Get out of my head, me. I have to... I have, I have done irreparable psychic damage to myself. I have to stop this. Hey, look. It's uh, that thing we all love. I keep wanting to call it the Kirk Hammer, but that's not what it is in this game. I mean, that's what we're pretending it is, but that's not what it actually is. What is this thing? Giant Crusher. God, can't remember nothing. Let's make some talisman swaps so that we can make these jar cannon shots count. Easy peasy. M missed by a mile but it's okay that's why God gives us second chances that second shot hit two people that immediately makes up for the mistake of missing uh, you know the, with the first shot and that's just math that's just basic arithmetic <laughs> this invasion um, it, it yeah, I it <laughs> If you've been watching my videos for like a long period of time and and you also are familiar with invasions and you've been doing invasions, if you invaded way back in the Dark Souls 3 days, this invasion to you is going to look real familiar real quick um, and you'll know how this invasion ends, uh, you know, before it's over. There's just, there's just something about this type of invasion where ev everybody gets all split up and goes crazy and everybody's running in different directions like a chicken with their head cut off I guess three chickens with all three of their heads cut off I do have to give them credit for that arrow though that knocked me off the branch I, I did not see that coming they caught me off guard I don't even know who shot it, or from from where they shot it from. Usually, you know, these big open areas, you would think right here you'd be seeing some health bars, kind of telling you where people are at. We spawned so far away. And then we get up close, we get all the way up here, uh, and they are on the branch, which is where I was at. So now it's my turn. Let's see if they know where that came from. Not until it was too late. Not until it was too late. We know what's going to happen here. This person's probably going to do Radon's yell into getting backstabbed, if I had to guess. I have seen so many Saint Riot videos. I could, I could narrate these in my sleep. You know? Look at this guy making me look cool by Dragon Breath fire on that branch while I'm standing there over his friend's corpse as they fade out of existence. Now the host is down one friend and rather than try and push a 2v1 advantage, they have ran back to the grace probably looking for their friend's summon sign. And now, this phantom is going to throw lightning bolts. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing they do the entire time. I might be wrong. They might pull out a weapon. Or they might get smushed. Remember when I said you can't do that with a brick hammer? Well, you can do it with that hammer. It absolutely works with a giant crusher. And I love that. It works with a lot of colossal weapons. It works with the whirly gig saw. 
Um, it works with the Draconic Tree Sentinels thing. Um, it works with uh, the Falling Star Beast Jaw, whatever that thing's called. Yeah, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Ain't no way. Ain't no way a player like... That's a Dark Souls 3 player right there. And I can spot them. I can sniff them out. From, from miles away. You know? It's a... Uh, it's... it's At this point... At this point... You know, it's like a... It's like a predatory instinct that I have. Uh, that I can... I just... I, I can clock them. You know? Kid Rock once said, I can smell a pig from a mile away. Now, can he really... I doubt it, but I can smell a Dark Souls 3 player from a mile away. Twin blades, man. Twin blades. These things always mess me up. The trick is to not roll backwards, because they can pursue with pressure so, so well. And if they have bleed, it's even worse. So it's one of those weapons where I think you probably want to roll into it. Despite the fact that it doesn't feel like one of those weapons you would want to roll into. This feels like rolling into a straight sword. Or a curved sword. But I can tell you from experience that rolling away from it, that's not the way to go. What if we had a little, uh... What if we had a little hyper armor, though? Would that change the equation a little bit? Maybe. That's a bad time to go for a charged heavy attack. In my experience. And in his experience. He just experienced it. Speaking of experiencing it, let's all experience uh, this cannon ending. This is the cannon ending to this invasion. That joke has been brought to you by the English language, really. And, and wordplay. Shakespeare, you know. Maybe he didn't create it, but he perfected it. I really wish this clip would have started a little earlier. I was getting ganked in the snowfield, and they didn't know about the bear. And so they killed the guy. Which is hilarious. And so now there's a bear. I feel like there was two phantoms and one of them died. And then a fan and then this blue phantom showed up. I feel like that's what happened. Um I could be wrong though, but man, anytime you can unleash that bear on somebody, it's just the funniest thing in the world. That bear, right, that bear right there, that bear is a nightmare. If you ever see any of those videos where it's like, a rune bear versus millennia, I, I think this is the rune bear that they use, because he has so much health and he does so much damage, he is absolutely absurd. And this is crazy right here. These co-opers, these co-opers leave this host to try and deal with the bear alone so that they can chase the PvP man. And and this is a thing that that happens a lot. With um this is a thing that happens a lot in invasions. And it, I don't understand it. Like, why would you trust that the host can deal with that bear? The blue, I, I kind of understand, you know? Like, if that's your job, is to get rid of the invader. But this phantom, being so worked up over the PvP man, that they don't pay attention to their host uh, having to deal with God's most powerful rune bear. Like, that's just bad planning, you know? And I will say this, I will say this, I stand by what I said and it's true and it's right and it's real. But, shout out to this host for finding a way to stay alive, you know? The, the AI of enemies, if you've ever invaded at all and seen enemy AI interact with multiplayer, like with co-opers, you know what I'm about to say is true. The AI becomes so stupid that, like, things that will whoop your ass if you're solo become absolute pushovers in co-op. Not even like, oh, it's easier because, you know, there's two of us, we're doing more damage. Look at that. Look at that. You'll never see anybody else go for that. I don't know, you might, but I haven't. 
that bear if this was me playing the game by myself and I for some reason pissed off that bear it would have killed me in real life a bear would have jumped out of my PlayStation and attacked me but because they were co-oping like the bear just immediately turned into a donk and uh, you know just fucked off somewhere like what's going on there I, I think it's because the enemy AI is constantly, like, locking on to a different opponent. And it's it, it basically, like, resets the enemy AI every time it locks on to a different opponent. But what's weird is, like, when, when everyone else is gone and that bear wasn't doing anything to the host, were we just, like, at a leash point where the where the enemy wasn't gonna, you know, progress any further, and that's why he started acting weird? Like, what was the deal there? Uh, you know, I don't know. All I'm saying is that if it were me, that bear would have killed me. Like, a hundred times over. Here we have Archer Jones and his friend Dual Daggers, uh, and his friend Bloodhound Fang. Do you, the Zamor Knights? helping me out here uh, absolutely making this even remotely possible this Zamor Knight uh, is not having any of that garbage um, they actually came in and, and helped me out just enough just enough where I could get rid of one of the co-opers and that's really all I'm asking for Zamor Knight thank you you know I appreciate you Against against a bunch like if you're fighting three really good players like you know good PvP or good PVE or God forbid good at both if you're fighting three players like that um you know that that Zamor Knight is is probably barring your opponents making a terrible mistake probably the thing that's gonna like help you out and it doesn't even matter if they really do anything or not um, it's just that they be there as a distraction or just something that the the co-opers have to at least look at right it's a threatening presence at the very least you know and that's what matters also it never stops being funny the soft swap to the giant hammer after a parry that's the funniest thing in the world to me i love it let's see what we do with uh archer jones here let's see how we finish this fight off I'm guessing sword dance into weapon swap. Here it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh! Yep, that'll do it. I, I, I didn't expect. I did not expect the follow-up on sword dance. I rarely do it. I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes I surprise myself, like I said. You know? Who, who knows what I'm up to? Not me. Gotta shut that dragon shit up. You know, a lot of people complain about the dragon stuff, and I understand why. Um, but if it's possible to rush that shit down, rush that shit down. Um, you know, it's it's almost always worth it to rush that shit down. If you can. Sometimes you can't. Right? I'm not saying always do it. I'm saying if you can. Um, I see a lot of people... Like what you just saw right there. Like that was... That's like just the point where I'm, I'm like Ugh, I don't know I don't know if I can get in on that and and it's just safer to let him waste his FP and me go stand over here for a minute you know but in those situations where you're just you know uh, slightly closer than that and you, you see them go for that dragon stuff uh, absolutely don't worry about you know what anybody else is gonna do just hit that dragon right because one, it's gonna it's gonna use their FP to cast that spell, and that's nice. Two, if you do something that does big damage to them, or if they don't have a lot of vigor, now they have something that they have to think about. Like, oh no, I'm out of vigor, I'm out of FP, and so maybe they try and like roll backwards to drink some flasks, and now you have like a you know five six second window where you can do some crazy stuff, right? And when, when, you're, when you're in that flow state, that invader flow state, you know, five or six seconds uh, is, is a crazy amount of time to make something happen uh, in Elden Ring. When you have, a, you know, access to absurd levels of damage. The fact that I didn't get that 
first backstab attempt that I wanted is absolutely heartbreaking there. And then and then the second one I didn't get, you know, that was like uh that was like salt on the wound, right? I, I remember how this invasion ends. This invasion ends with a fully charged giant crusher follow-up, which is uh, a hilarious way to end an invasion. We're going to do the Lion's Claw flip, uncharged, just a regular Lion's Claw flip, and then fully charged. Uh, pancakes. Pancakes, baby. You put them on the griddle. You put them on the griddle. It's January 21st. Shadow of the Earth Tree comes out tonight. Let's go. Congratulations. You made it. I'll see you next time. Until then, later, y'all.